Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have the opportunity to come to the end of this series. We've been talking about the greatest destruction to our pursuit of purpose. That greatest destruction to our pursuit of purpose is impatience. Now, when I say that, uh, people will say there are other great things that can distract us from purpose, maybe greater than impatience. If there could be, you could tell me what they are. But I'm talking about internal destructions. And one of the greatest destruction, a destruction is something that derails, something that stops momentum, kills momentum, diffuses momentum, something that stops consistency. And one of the greatest of those in terms of our purpose pursuit is impatience. We've been talking about how can we cure this impatience in our lives. And we've talked about four things. Today we come to a close by talking about the fifth. This is something that you already know, but stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. I don't know about you, but I do think that if you feel at this moment in time in your life, you feel as you have underachieved, you feel as if there is just more to be done that you haven't done, you feel as if there is no rewards that are coming towards your pursuit of purpose or your pursuit of your projects that you're doing in life, and you're questioning the very existence, the very existence of your life right now. You're asking, what's the point of it? What's, what, what, why am I at it? How come I am not progressing? How come I'm not developing? How come I ain't growing? How come I'm not enjoying this life? I'm not enjoying everyday life. Your smile has a program called Enjoying Everyday Life. How come that's not happening? And sometimes when we come to these legal, valid questions and critical questions at that, guess what we do? Sometimes we don't get answers to them and sometimes we give up. And when we give up, it's because we become impatient in waiting for the fruition of our destiny, fruition of our pursuits, fruition of our purpose. And so become impatient and we'll leave it all together. But we've been saying, how do you come to the level where you are sorting it out? You are dealing with this impatience because there is no vaccine for impatience in our lives, in our purpose pursuit. And we've even said, by the way, that there is a valid place for impatience. It's on some level a positive thing to be impatient, especially when maturity date has arrived and nothing is uh, being shown out of it. I mean, you've just been pursuing and pursuing and pursuing and it's about time, but it seems as if nothing has happened. It is good to be impatient at that. But I'm talking about impatience in a negative way where you haven't done much. You haven't waited a lot. You've not persevered enough. You've not been determined and committed. You've not had momentum and consistency well enough to wait until maturity. But you become impatient. And we are all bombarded with these feelings of impatience. We are all victims. We are all susceptible to be impatient in our pursuits of purpose. So what do we do? What do we do so that we can circumnavigate the impatience? The very first thing, even before the impatience comes, number one, you need to clarify your purpose. Make sure that the thing that you're doing is connected to your purpose. 
If it's not, you're gonna give up. You're going to walk away from it because as long as you are not on purpose, you will be impatient, you will be disillusioned, you will be unfulfilled, you will question the very existence and the very meaning of life. So clarify your purpose. Once you've clarified your purpose, you will know that you are in for it in the long haul and not for the short haul. And the second thing you're supposed to do, number four, number two, is to focus on substance and not gratification. In this life, there are two prongs. We are either getting out of life or we're giving into life. The more we're getting from life and the more we're focusing on getting from life, as if life owes us something, the more we are gravitating towards gratification and gratification is not something you're gonna get from purpose because purpose takes the long haul approach therefore it is something that is substantive substance other than gratification i'm not saying that you should not get gratification out of life we're just saying that it should not be the goal if it becomes the goal guess what you will be impatient with very many things that are purpose related because they are not for the most part going to give you gratification on a daily basis especially if it's external gratification which is not psychic psychic gratification is uh, thankfulness and gratitude and feeling of fulfillment that you are on the right path at this moment in time that is psychic psychic income we call it but if you're looking for other kinds of gratification, like, you know, being patted on the back and uh, eating sweet things, uh, having adventure and so on, you're looking for, 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 for the, those things from your purpose, you're going to be disappointed, you're going to get impatient. Number three, we said you should choose a minimalist life. Why are we impatient? We are impatient because we're doing very many things and we have very little time. A minimalist life means that you are focusing on the priorities, the things that have you're using the 80 20 rule you focus on the 20 percent that has greater impact than focus on 100 percent and you know you get disillusioned in life so minimalize things to take something that is of great importance in your life something that has great meaning something that matters to you a lot and focus on it for the most part instead of focusing on all the possibilities that you have there's nothing wrong with all the other possibilities it's just that for us to be fruitful we've got to be focused so choose a minimalist minimalist life yesterday number four we say have a long-term view of life instead of a short-termism we have a lot of one of the biggest problems in our century today is short-termism we have microwaves but we scream at the microwaves to hurry up you know we are able to move from one continent to another but we think it's still we just we have so short-termism we have a short-termism approach to life and purpose on its own takes a long-term view of development and maturity so focus on your long term in other words have a big time vision when you do not have vision you become short-termism you become a short-term you, you have a short-termism approach in life so have a long-term vision and look at it it will cure impatience because you will face opposition you will face heartache you will face disillusionment you will face incredible amounts of critical criticism and crisis and setbacks and if these things come and you do not have vision you become impatient with whatever it is you're doing and you'll dump it all together and walk away but today let us just uh, mention the last thing that is going to help you to cure impatience in your life number five be a consummate planner this has come to me over and over again especially when we are derailed and we are impatient for the most part if you look at our lives when we are impatient for the most part you find that we do not have a plan you know why because a plan will take care of that impatience a, a plan will have everything a plan is like a dry run of completion it's like you have something completed on paper it's like a blueprint and if you do not have a blueprint if you do not have a plan guess what you become impatient because you do not know what's going to happen tomorrow you don't know what's going to happen next year you don't know these things they are not choreographed in your mind and on paper and therefore it becomes easy for you to lose track of time and to uh, not lose track of time but it becomes easy for you to 
wonder where time is going to come for fruition it's because you have not planned in order to cure impatience in your life be a consummate planner and this is how i encourage people to plan and i'm encouraging myself because planning has different facets the first thing that i think you should do whether you are employed whether you are unemployed whether you are self employed as long as you are a human being who is healthy it doesn't matter whether you have a job or you don't have a job but i do encourage people as long as you are a human being who is healthy and your mind is sound you need to have a weekly plan this weekly plan has what we call the non negotiables things that must be done on a daily basis or on a weekly basis they you cannot live without doing these things just like you cannot live without showering there are some things you cannot live without doing like your mind um, me- mental health big things like meditation prayer reading reciting you know they they must be done for your spiritual health and and so on and so forth so have a whole week charted out spend like 2 hours every week to plan for the whole entire week knowing whom you're going to meet where you're going to run what you're going to eat things that you must do things that you must not do th- uh, projects that you must finish projects that you must you know continue and so on a weekly plan is a must and therefore you have this weekly plan and then when you do it you have also an opportunity in that particular week to review what has happened and even to have scores for it you track the things that you're going to you, you said you're going to do and if you have this kind of approach in life what happen what happens is that you cannot be impatient with life because you've already charted the course You have a weekly plan, you have a monthly plan, you have a yearly plan, you have a quarterly plan. You already charted these things and it feels like you have a, a grip or some kind of form of control in your life and in the life that you're leading in the life that you're living at this moment in time. But if you don't, it is easy for you to become desperate, to despair and so on. And I cannot overemphasize this. You see, when you do not walk through your purpose on paper chances are that we might not be able to expo- extrapolate its boundless possibilities and see its ramifications and its fruitfulness at the end of the day and as as such despair apathy and impatience can easily creep in so a consummate planner gets excited about their pursuit in purpose because they know and they expect and they know the timing and the appro- approximate timing of the fruition of some of these things and even if that time comes and this thing have not come to fruition they are able to reschedule and replan so ladies and gentlemen we come to the close of this series we have been talking about the biggest distraction to a purpose pursuit and its five cures and uh, you can review the 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 season by going back 10 or so episodes to get a grasp a, a grasp of it tomorrow we start a new series when we're talking about daring as well as our purpose pursuit until then bye bye thank you for listening to life signatures radio if you enjoyed today's show subscribe to life signatures radio on itunes stitcher or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com life signatures radio fresh clean and inspiring